Hey what's up guys welcome back. In this video we are going to see how to print Christmas tree pattern using python. Okay. So we will approach this figure step by step. First let us uh, print only this upper half part and then we will see how to print this lower half part. Okay. So here you can see the rows indexing is starting from 1 and it is ending at 9. So that means this figure has 9 rows. Okay. So uh, before writing code, let us uh, analyze this figure a little bit. So uh, here at uh, fifth row, you can see there is one white space and then there are five stars. And at fourth row, we can see there are two white spaces and then there are four stars. And at third row, there are three white spaces and then there are three stars. And at second row, we have four white spaces and then there are two stars. And at first row, we have five white spaces and then there is a star okay so here i'm in jupyter notebook first things first i'm going to initialize a variable called num and i will take the input from the user so int input enter the number of rows okay and after this i will take a for loop for i in range so here in this figure you can see the rows range is starting from 1 so I will also start I will also give the start value in range function as 1 and I will end it at num plus 1 ok. The reason why I have taken num plus 1 is because the last value is always excluded in the range function. So if I just print i and if I give uh, num value as 5 here we can see it has iterated till 5 ok. If I do not give num plus 1 or there and then if I enter 5 it is gonna go till 4 it is not going to print 5 ok so to include 5 I will give num plus 1 ok and if I give 5 here you can see we have uh, iterated till 5 ok so before printing stars I need to print what I need to print these white spaces right so here we can see in the first row uh, there are five white spaces and at second row there are four white spaces and at third row we have three white spaces so that is basically num minus one so let us assume that the user has entered the num value six so num equals equals six so we have assumed that the user has entered num as six so uh, in the first iteration we need only five white spaces and during second iteration we need four white spaces and during third iteration we need three white spaces okay so I will multiply this white space with num minus i ok. So initially i value is 1 it is going to subtract num with 1 and the we have assumed that the user has entered 6 right. So here num will be 6 and num minus 1 initially it is going to print 5 white spaces and during second iteration i value will be 2 and 6 minus 2 we will have 4 white spaces ok likewise it is going to continue. Now that we have uh, printed the white spaces now it is time for us to print stars ok I will concat it with star and I need stars how many times so here uh, in the first row we have 1 star and at second row we have 2 stars ok so basically that is i value right so during the first iteration we have i as 1 during second iteration i as 2 so that is basically i. If I execute this and if I give um, num value 6 here we can see we have got the triangle pattern but it is not exactly similar to this pattern. So to get that pattern what I need to do is I need to give one space over here and if I execute this and if I give 6 and here we can see we have successfully achieved this upper half part. Now let us take a look at how to print this lower half part. So here we can see there are uh, there are five white spaces and then there is a star ok. So this five white space is basically num minus so num minus 1 right so num minus 1 spaces. So I need to print five white spaces and then one star. So what I can do is I will take another for loop for j in range of num and I will print how many white spaces I will print multiplied by num minus 1 
okay so here we can see the num value is 6 and here we have 5 white spaces so that is basically num minus 1 so we have printed white spaces now let us print star we need how many stars we need only one star right so we will print star and that's it we'll execute this and uh, let's see how the output looks like i'll give six and here we can see we have achieved the christmas tree pattern but the bark of this christmas tree is too long okay so we need to reduce the length of this bark so for that what i will do is i will reduce this uh, num by so here uh, we can see the num is six right so initially num is six if i print num minus floor division of num by two i will get what i'll get three so it is basically reducing this with half that is uh, six by two that is three so num floor division by two is three okay it will give you the whole number so why i am taking floor division is because i need integer value if i get floor value then uh, it will throw an error so to avoid that error i will divide this num by uh, fl uh, I will use floor division. So, for example, uh, now num value is if I enter num value as 5, so I will get again integer value here. It is not going to give me float value because I am using floor division. Okay. So, I will subtract this with num floor division by 2. Okay. And if I execute this once more and if I give value like uh, 6. And here we can see we have successfully achieved the Christmas tree pattern. Okay. And if I try one more and I will give this time I will give eight. And here we can see we have the perfect Christmas tree pattern. So this is how you print Christmas tree pattern using Python. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Until next time, take care.